Registered Native Title Body Corporate A registered Native Title Body Corporate, RNTBC, is a corporation nominated by a group of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people for the purposes of native title in Australia to represent their native title rights and interests. Once that group's native title application has been recognized in a federal court of Australia determination and the corporate body registered, the corporation nominated hold and manage as trustee or manage as agent before native title determination and registration is called a prescribed body corporate PBC. Description a registered native title body corporate represents an indigenous Australian group's native title rights and interests. After these have been recognized by the federal court and the body is registered. Before the court determination and registration of the body, it is known as a prescribed body corporate. Once both the native title determination has been made and the court has determined that the nominated corporation is to be the PBC. It is registered by the National Native Title Tribunal and NTT as required by the Native Title Act 1993 and becomes known as a registered Native Title Body Corporate RNTBC SS 19312 and 253 NTA. It is at this point that their statutory obligations under the NTA and the Native Title Prescribed Bodies Corporate Regulations 1999 are triggered. PBC have prescribed characteristics under the Native Title Act 1993 NTA, including that they are incorporated under the Corporation's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Act 2006 Catsey Act. In some instances, native title claim groups will create a new organization whose sole purpose is to act as an RNTBC. Alternatively, they may nominate an existing corporation to become the RNTBC as long as it is already incorporated under the CATSI Act and complies with the provisions of the NTA. Importantly, it must have, among its purposes, the purpose of becoming an RNTBC. Where native title groups have received financial settlements, RNTBCs may become part of a corporate structure which can include charitable trusts, companies, and other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporations, each of which may perform different or similar functions to achieve the objectives of the native title group, and some of which may be incorporated under the Commonwealth Corporations Act 2001 which applies to the broader Australian community. The kind of bodies that can be determined as PBC and therefore registered as RNTBCs and their functions are set out in the Native Title Act 1993 and Native Title Prescribed Bodies Corporate Regulations 1999. Other Types of Indigenous Bodies Some Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporations are not RNTBCs often referred to as native title corporations or traditional owner corporations, but may have generated native title outcomes without having a native title determination. This can occur in different ways, including under other legislation, such as the Victorian Traditional Owner Settlement Act 2010, through native title settlements, such as the Comprehensive Southwest Native Title Settlement for newer people in Western Australia and through native title claimant groups entering into indigenous land use agreements illuens. Statutory requirements. Statutory differences between PBC and other corporations. RNTBCs and PBC are special types of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporations because they are created especially for common law native title holders to hold or manage native title. PBC must have the words Registered Native Title Body Corporate or RNTBC in their name and must be registered with the Office of the Registrar of Indigenous Corporations ORIC as required by the Native Title Act NTA while other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporations can choose to register under other state or territory associations law or under the Corporations Act 2001 CTH.
PBC have obligations under the NTA such as the requirement to consult with and obtain consent from native title holders in relation to any decisions which surrender or affect native title rights and interests. If an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander corporation becomes or ceases to be a PBC or an TBC, it must notify ORIC within 28 days. PBC directors and officers are protected from a range of criminal and civil penalties for breach of duties, as long as they have acted in good faith in complying with obligations under native title legislation excluding the duty to not trade while insolvent. PBC are not required to value their native title rights and interests as part of their assets, for the purpose of determining their size classification under CATSI. PBC must ensure that their constitution is consistent with native title legislation. ORIC must not change the PBC constitution on the basis of an act done in good faith and with the belief that the corporation or its officers are complying with native title legislation. ORIC is not able to deregister a PBC as long as it remains a PBC and manages or holds native title interests.